Hello, and welcome to this Marionette tutorial. Today, we will cover the full workflow on how to use Marionette with Blender, starting from a raw video, processing it within Marionette, then taking that motion data into Blender for precise retargeting and essential cleanup, and finally presenting the rendered animation on our 3D character. With that said, let's get started. First, import your video. We then need to find the calibration pose where the person's body is facing the camera. Then press calibrate and drag and drop your video onto the timeline. And before pressing clean motion, remember to ensure all tracking options you need for your animation are enabled. For this animation, I will need all of the options checked. Once it's done loading and everything seems to be working correctly, simply press Clean Motion. If your animation was not cleaned properly in some places, this is the time where we can fix those details. For instance, to address the foot clipping, we go to Rig Adjustment. With mirror selection activated, we can rotate the upper leg slightly to fix it. This adjustment propagates across the entire animation. For foot stability, I will utilize the foot lock feature. The timeline displays green and blue bars, indicating automatic foot locks. I then adjust the bar's start or end points to correct any foot sliding. Individual locks can also be added or deleted by right-clicking. For global timing, the transition and padding sliders in the foot lock tab are used to fine-tune all locks simultaneously. Transitioning to Blender, our rig is set to an A pose. A critical step for retargeting is that your rig has to be in a T pose so I simply adjust the rig to be in a T-pose. For the next step, you will need the Marionette Blender plugin. If you haven't downloaded it already, check out our video on how to do it. It is fast and easy to install, and best of all, it is free to download. We now proceed to map the character's controllers to Marionette's plugin. This involves connecting all the controllers you need for your animation. An important note, if your rig is in IK like mine is here, you simply have to retarget your IK hand controller or IK foot controller. For an FK rig, you have to retarget all of them. So for your arm, you would have to retarget the hand, elbow, and shoulder instead of just the outer controller. After the mapping is complete, we will proceed to connect Marionette and Blender. For this step, you will need to have both programs open. Once mapping is complete, we click Connect, then press Preview in DCC, which creates a live link between the plugin, which you can use to make sure it all looks correct. If it all works as it should, then press Copy to DCC, which bakes the animations onto your rig in Blender. Inside Blender, we can now access the graph editor and keep refining the animation if you want to. Marionette creates clean curves from the keys and poses that are set inside Marionette. I will refine my animation a bit more, starting with the feet, but that is all you need. Now you can edit and refine as much as you like, creating exactly the animation you need. I will speed through the rest as I am only refining the animation, and at the end I put my animation into a scene and make a final render.
And that concludes our tutorial on using Marionette and Blender for motion capture. We covered importing, calibrating, cleaning up the motion in Marionette, and then retargeting it and refining it within Blender to animate our 3D character. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. You can also join our Discord community for the latest updates, tips, and to connect with other creators. Thanks for watching and see you next time.